Hey, welcome back. So this one is going to be a short one because we're going to be addressing two new hooks that I personally don't think you're going to be using much. The uh, use memo and the use ref hooks. So let's get to that. All right, let's go to our form component and let's import the use memo hook. And the way you use memo hook is that it's executed during a render and you, you use this to do any computationally heavy uh, operations and it works exactly the same way as use effect does uh, by calling a callback function and only executing when one of the dependencies that we provided changes. Uh, but the main difference is that you reserve use effect for only side effects, things like um, fetching data, things like uh, editing the DOM, uh, etc. So use effect is executed between renders. Meanwhile, use memo is executed during a render. So let's actually use it. Let's create first a function that we will pass it to use memo. Let's call this uh, print number of people. And it's, gonna, it's not going to take anything and it's just going to console log, um, so context, the number of people we have, so context.people.length. Actually, uh, let's do backticks and it will say number of people, colon, space, dollar sign, curly brace, and close this and close this like this. And here we'll say, um, let's make some space here, let's say use memo. And here we're going to have a callback and what it's going to do is going to call print number of people as a function and here we will pass it uh, the context.people so whenever context.people array changes it executes again. Uh, let's save, let's look at our app, let's open up the, uh, the terminal or like the console, the dev tools and here it says number of people two and if we were to add another one, so I don't know, just some random text here, it says number of people three. And if I were, it works the same way as use effect. So if I were to empty this array, it will never execute again, execute again after the first time. So if I add another person, it's not going to say number of people three. All right. So, so that's use memo. Now let's bring the other one use ref. Now this is used to uh, create references and it works the same way as react create ref. To be honest, I don't know what's the difference between them. Maybe use ref is more efficient, but hey, it works the same way as create reference. So let's actually uh, use it. So here I'm going to declare const uh, first uh, name input. Uh, I'll I want to, let's say I want to add so many people that when I add a person, I want to again focus this field so that I can quickly start typing again. So what I want to do is I'll create the reference. I'll say use ref and it doesn't matter what we pass here. We can just pass null and this will return us a reference um, object. And here for our input, we'll just say ref equals and we'll say first name input and it's it's this and we'll say each time we submit when we reset our form after that we just call first name input dot current because this is um, where everything resides in this current uh, property and here we'll just call focus like this as a function actually yeah all right so let's save yeah everything works fine and now after I submit, this should be focused again. So let's say Harry Potter, add person. Cool. It's focused again. If I add another one, press enter, it's focused here again. All right. So this is how these two work. Obviously, like for references, you can do uh, much more on references, but that's not uh, related to hooks. That's just a reference thing. Um, I suggest that you would go to uh, the documentation and read more about these hooks if you want to understand truly what is happening. But honestly, I don't think we're going to be using use ref or use memo that much unless, I don't know, they changed somehow. Anyway, so this is it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.